Okay. I love you too. Bye, Dad. Bye, buddy. Where's your daddy? Did he leave us today to go play golf? Do you want your breakfast? <sighs> Good morning. We just woke up. It's just after six o'clock here. And I thought today it would be fun to film a little like day in the life vlog to show you like a day in our lives as a full-time stay-at-home dog mom slash content creator and whatever else we end up getting up to today. So this will be like a less structured video, kind of chatty and just like following along with what we get up to today. So if that sounds like something you're into, I hope you'll stick around. So Todd's normally here with us all day, but today he took the day off work and he's going to play golf. He's playing in like some golf tournament in Kananaskis, so he'll be home later today. So most of the day will just be the two of us girls, me and Farley. I'm just having my breakfast right now. I'm just having cereal and coffee. We usually try and get out before seven o'clock to take Farley for her pee and poo, but the days are getting so short already. It's still so dark outside. <laughs> All you can see is the reflection. Mm. I don't know if I want to wait till it gets lighter out. Like it's happening fast. I swear last week it was like light out at this time and now this week it's pitch black. So we'll see. By the time I started my YouTube channel, most of my plans, specifically the ones behind me over here, were only two to two and a half years old. So they had a bit of time to grow into the large specimen. This is Farley's little spot in the morning. This is where she always waits for us to eat breakfast before we go outside. Okay, enjoy your sit. Okay, sweetie pie, do you want to go pee pee? Let's go! We're out for our morning walk and it's really smoky today. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe that's why it felt so dark this morning. I don't know, but yeah, it's super smoky. So I guess we're probably gonna stay inside for most of the day. Just waiting for Farley to do her business and then we'll get on with our day. What do you smell this morning, sweetie? <laughs> Sometimes she does this when Sophie's been out in the morning before her. She can smell her friend Sophie. The thing about us is that we don't have a yard where we live. You have to be like super rich to have a fenced in yard in this town so we live in a townhouse no yard so every time Farley has to go to the bathroom we have to take her on a walk so I'm jealous when I see people with yards or they can just like open the door and let their dog out to go to the bathroom it's not bad in the summer and spring and stuff when like it's not that cold out but in the winter it freaking sucks look at that some of the larches have started turning oh, it's gonna be larch season soon Farley Sometimes it takes five minutes for her to do her business, and some days it takes 30 minutes, and today's one of those longer days. Come on, Friday, you can do it. I believe in you. It's smoky, but it sure is pretty. Hmm. Are you gonna do this or not? 40 minutes later, and she still has not gone to the bathroom, which is annoying because we spent 40 minutes out here, and I'm still gonna have to bring her out again later to go poo. Is that funny to you, Farley? God, I love you so much. You're such a pain in my butt. So the morning pee and poop walk didn't go perfectly, but I'm trying to have an attitude of gratitude and positivity. So on the positive side, I got to have a beautiful 40 minute walk with my dog this morning. <laughs> and I'll get to have another one later this morning when she finally decides she has to go poop. Are you waiting for a treat? Wait, okay. I usually like to be back inside and sitting down at my desk by like, seven o'clock. Todd starts his work day at seven o'clock, so I try to start mine around the same time. And I know it's not a huge deal. Like, it's not like anyone's holding me accountable to any kind of schedule. It's more for myself because ever since I started doing this full time back in end of March or April of this year, something that I really struggled with is like the lack of structure and the lack of a schedule. So in the last couple of months, I've tried to like set a schedule for myself and trying to like hold myself accountable to stick with it. And that little bit of structure helps me. And sometimes when my schedule's thrown off right at the beginning of the day, it can lead me into like not respecting my schedule and like 
skipping out on certain things, like certain things that I tend to avoid, like working out or doing some of like the self-care things that I like to incorporate into my days. So today it's almost eight o'clock, it's 7.50 right now. So I'm a little bit behind on my schedule, but I'm gonna try and just like go with the flow and continue doing all the things that I want to do and that I need to do. I try to set aside the first hour of my day to do some like mindfulness type of things. So I try and write down like one thing I'm grateful for every morning. I like to write in my journal just like one page, whatever I'm feeling, just kind of like a brain dump. I'm also working with my doctor on like finding the right medications for like my anxiety and depression. So I'm trying to like use my journal to check in with myself, see how I'm feeling. And then I can like look back on that when I, before I have my next check-in with my doctor so that I can like make sure that I'm giving her an accurate description of like how I've been feeling. And then I like to do like a 10 minute or 15 minute meditation. Um, I use Headspace for that. And something that I really like to do is I like to keep track of all this stuff in my habit tracker. I have like a little bullet journal that I set up for every month. Over here I have my habit tracker. So I just try and keep track of a few of these things and see how well I've done over the last month. Here's my one for last month, I didn't do great, but every month is a fresh start every day is a fresh start so yeah hard especially after a few days off my mind was just all over the place but I really like it because it helps kind of like I don't know it feels like it's helping me like quiet my mind and help with anxiety and stuff and it's almost like when I'm having a good meditation it's like I can almost feel my brain like sink into my body and like I'm not thinking about anything I'm just kind of like feeling like my body and how I'm breathing and stuff and I don't know I like that and I want to be able to do that more. So, so I'm trying to do a daily meditation. And my daily cocktail of vitamins, probiotics, fish oils, my anxiety medication, and my antidepressant. Yay! I have to keep track of these things in my habit tracker because if I don't mark it down every day after I do it, I'll forget if I did it or if I didn't do it. It's just something that I like to keep track of. So most days I'm usually done this part of my morning routine by like eight o'clock and then I like to do Hi Farley. I like to do some type of moving my body. But today because we started a bit late and Farley was not cooperative on her morning walk, it's almost nine o'clock. I think I'm gonna stick with my workout even though it's late. Are you gonna be okay up here by yourself, baby? One of my major problems is when I say I'm gonna do something and then I get sidetracked and just like end up looking at my plants. They're just so beautiful and there's always something new to look at. Like, are we growing any new leaves? Is this leaf gonna open up? Why is this leaf so tiny? Like, oh, this one over here has been my favorite lately. I just love watching it grow. The leaves are getting so nice and big and it's giving me new leaves like all the time. Oh, it just makes me so happy. I'm on a real philodendron kick lately. That's enough dilly-dallying. I'm gonna get to my workout. I love you, baby. I'll be back in like half an hour, okay? Oh, 2000s paw, my favorite. Stretching is like my favorite part of working out. I know a lot of people don't agree. They don't like stretching, but I love it because I just sit here, let my heart rate come down and go through the motions and I just like scroll on TikTok. It's like my little reward after working out. Atomic habits like make it satisfying. This is the satisfying part for me. Hello, sweetie pie. Are you waiting for me? Are you happy to see me or you don't care? You don't seem to care. Okay, I love you so much. Oop, quick stop to look at my plants. Ooh, yes. Okay. Somebody give a 
it's 10 30 and i just uh got out of the shower a little bit of makeup and I'm ready to start my work day i usually like to try and start my work day at like 10 so i'm only like half an hour late which is pretty good there's been so much talk on tiktok lately about like rumors for an nsync reunion concert i will lose it if they have a reunion concert or a reunion tour like i was an nsync girl from the time I discovered them in like 1997 until all through high school, all through forever. I had some friends who were NSYNC girls like in elementary school, but then when I got to high school, I was like the only NSYNC person that I knew. Everyone knew I was the NSYNC girl and I carried the torch alone through the rest of my young adulthood. I loved them so much. I still love them. So if they go on tour, I'm going. I don't care how much it costs, how far I have to travel, that's it for me. That will be the peak of my life if I can go to that. So I was listening to NSYNC No Strings Attached today while I was like showering and getting ready and I just noticed that like I have the urge to like sing and dance a bit more lately. I noticed that kind of over the weekend too. I'll just kind of like jump into like song and dance. I don't know. I think it's a sign that I'm like starting to feel a bit better. I just increased the dosage on my antidepressant last week, so I don't know if it's that or if it's like placebo effect or, but it's a good thing. So I'm sitting down to start my work day. And I know that I like joke and like kind of make light of the fact that like I'm unemployed or self-employed or whatever I am. And I think I'm still like trying to come to terms with what I am. And I guess if you didn't know, I left my full-time job in March. I was a engineer. I was a process engineer. I did that for 11 years. I was with the same company for 11 years doing like a similar job just in different areas. And in 2016, I started working remotely. So like there's some, um, there's different like sites within the company um, in Northern Alberta. So I worked at one of those and my schedule was like a week there, a week off. So every week I would like go to the airport, fly up to work, spend a week there like in a camp type setting where the office is there and the whole like production facility is there and we eat, sleep, work, exercise, everything is up there and then we fly home and then I'm home for a week. And I did that schedule from 2016 until earlier this year. So about seven years. Yeah, I just decided that it was making me unhappy. I guess I'm just kind of struggling between like, was that a weakness? Like I just couldn't handle it and I took the easy way out and now I'm full time living at home making videos with my dog. Or was it really brave of me to figure out what's important to me, um, take a risk, take a chance on myself to make a living in a different way? I don't know. I'm still struggling with that. And like my identity was all tied up in like being an engineer and being analytical and using my brain. And now I'm like, I'm still using my brain but in more of like a creative capacity and there's no structure and I don't have a boss telling me what to do and there's no like metrics to say if I'm doing well and yeah it's been about May, June, July, August. It's been about five months since I left my job and I'm still kind of struggling with like my identity and how to spend my work days and stuff and so I'm trying to like bring more structure into my days. And lately I've been trying to put more effort into YouTube because that feels more, I don't know, it feels more like I have a project every week that I have steps that I can go through and that feels more structured and it feels like I completed something versus what I was focusing on before, which was just Instagram, TikTok, more like short form content and photo content can kind of feel like a hamster wheel. Like you do it and then you got to come up with another idea. And I still love that and it's, a fun way to connect and obviously like I love it because I've been able to turn it into a business and make money and leave my job and it's completely changed my life. Yeah that's another thing I'm struggling with is like I'm putting a lot of effort into making long form content lately. Just for the past month I've been trying this and I haven't been putting as much effort into Instagram and that's where all my income comes from. So yeah I'm a little bit struggling but 
I'm trusting myself that I'm gonna get there and luckily not luckily I just I did save up before I left my job so that I don't have to worry for a little while so yeah I'm just trying to like give myself time to recover from like the mental exhaustion or figure out what I'm doing, who am I, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's the story of me. And now here I am starting my work day. So I have a few different ways that I keep track of things as a whatever I am, full-time content creator slash dog mom. So one of the main things I, I check in on every day is like my upcoming content creation. I probably can't show you that too much in detail, but it just, it's just like a Google sheet that I keep track of like, once a contract has been signed with the brand for like a brand partnership, I just kind of throw it in this spreadsheet and I write down, you know, what the company is, what deliverables, what are some of the key dates, like when do they want the content by and when am I posting and then how much are they paying me? Um, have I completed it and have I been paid? Yeah, it's just like one simple place where I can keep track of that one thing. And then I also have, I don't know if this is a problem, but I have like different ways of organizing my life for different things. So I like to use um, ClickUp to organize just my YouTube stuff. I like, I don't know, I just like keeping it separately. Yeah, so in here I'll just like break each video down into the different steps and I'll say like what day I wanna get it done. So I was gonna film yesterday and I didn't. So yeah, I'm already day behind. But yeah, I just use ClickUp for just that one thing, just for organizing my YouTube videos. I tried putting like everything into ClickUp and then it just gets like too messy, too many things and then I get kind of overwhelmed, so I like having different things in different places. So yeah, ClickUp is just for my YouTube stuff. And then I also have this calendar. I use this app called Fantastical, um, and I use it for kind of like time blocking my days. So this is kind of my ideal work day here. Um, and it's pretty much always the same unless I have something different going on, like if I have a doctor appointment or whatever yeah I just kind of put in generically like work blocks so like I have a work block from 10 o'clock until 12 30 and then at 12 30 I try and take Farley out for a walk and then I have another work block from 1 p.m to 4 p.m and then within those work blocks I try and decide what I'm gonna work on that day whether it's like a YouTube video or content creation for a brand or just content creation just for like Instagram and TikTok in general and then the last place I keep track of things is in my bullet journal so yeah this is like kind of what my weekly dashboard looks like in my bullet journal um, I haven't filled out any of my monthly stuff for September yet but I try and have like goals in each of these categories for um, for each month and then I try to have weekly priorities, but I haven't got to that yet. And then every day I try and write down like the important things I want to do. And then my habit tracker for the whole month. So for today, um, oh, football season starting soon. So we have a um, fantasy football draft tonight. Um, that's at like 9.45 tonight. I also want to water my plants and film YouTube video, which is what I'm doing right now. So it's not a huge amount of things that I wanna get done for today. I probably could add more things in there, but it's kind of like my Monday after a long weekend. So I'm just gonna take it easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my time. Things have been pretty slow for me lately from like the brand partnership side of things, which is the revenue generating side of the business, which hasn't been terrible because I've been able to spend time on these longer form pieces of content, like putting effort into actually building a YouTube channel. So that's been really nice. And I'm expecting things to pick up in the fall. Like we've got a lot of irons in the fire for different companies that I'd love to work with. Yeah, it's just getting to the point of like having those final conversations about like budget and deliverables and seeing if things work out. And yeah, I have a agent who helps me with that stuff 
which is really awesome. So she handles most of like the communication and stuff. I just get to focus on the creative stuff and like my brand voice and whatever, which seems crazy because it just started out as me taking pictures of my dog three years ago. Pretty wild. And as far as like posting on Instagram or TikTok, we'll see if anything comes to me today. I don't really have a plan for anything to post today. Um, I have a sponsored post going up tomorrow for our food partnership or like our dog food partnership. And I really, really love the pictures that I did for them this time. And they're one of our best long-term partners. So I always try and do a really good job for them, but the pictures oh, turned out so good. Well, it's just one picture. I'm doing a photo post, but I'm super excited by it. And I guess I can show you because by the time I post this YouTube video, this picture will already be up but um, this is the photo. Isn't it so cute? Like her little face is just so adorable and the lighting, oh, it's just so perfect. I'm so happy with that photo. Todd took it. Go Todd, he's getting so good. So yeah, that's going up tomorrow and that's the only thing I have to for sure post this week on Instagram, but I will probably try and think of at least one video one reel to post this week. I've been posting a lot less on Instagram and TikTok lately, and I wouldn't, I don't think it's hurt my engagement at all. I'm trying to just be more like purposeful in my posting lately. Like I don't want to just post something to say that I posted five times this week or whatever. Like, I don't know. I just want to post things when they're really good and they serve a purpose, I guess. I'm not really good. Who knows what really good content is, but I just want to post things that I really think are relatable or funny or informative or inspirational or whatever. People always say those things that your content should be, but I'm trying to like take that to heart. So I haven't been posting as frequently, but it's been okay. Like my posts still get about the same amount of engagement and I haven't been losing followers or anything. So yeah, it's been okay. So. Who knows, maybe I'll ramp things back up when I'm feeling more creative, but I think it's okay for now. Oh yeah, and there is one other thing I need to work on. I just received it in the mail yesterday and I'm doing some UGC for it. So actually maybe we'll go unbox that right now. Yeah, we'll unbox it and I'll see what it looks like and I'll start getting fairly comfortable with it and come up with a plan for what kind of content I wanna shoot for it. Oh, hi Farley. Are you hiding from me? Are you upset with me? Because I was listening to NSYNC. Oh, I'm silly. Oh, you are so sweet. So it's a new dog bed. And they also included this little info card for their chicken coops. So I don't know if that was like their main thing. And that's why they're called omelet. I'm not sure. Farley, what do you think about this new bed? Are you gonna like it? So I don't think they wanted an unboxing video for this, but if they did I can like tape the box back together and fake it I guess if they want, but I'd really like to like since it's a dog bed and Farley's gonna have to like sit on it and interact with it for the content. I'd like to get it set up and get her like comfortable with it and like see how it looks, see how big it is. <clears throat> Sorry, see how it looks, see how big it is and figure out where I wanna put it for photos and videos and like what kind of video do I wanna make. Um, and once I decide where it's going in the house, like what time of day has the best lighting for that. So. Yeah, I wanna get it put together before I figure all that stuff out. Let's do it.
was smart. And now I struggle with things like this. Tweedo. Yeah, that's my sweet girl. Look, it's okay. Look, mommy's in it. Yeah, yeah, that's my girl. You think we're both of us in here? You're so brave. Oh, I love you so much, buddy. Mm. Mm. Oh, you like it now. You want to stay? Okay. Good girl. Okay, you want to sit on it over here? I wonder if she'll like this material. I kind of wish that I'd been more adventurous with colors instead of just like gray on gray. But I'm a bland girly. I like my neutrals. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Smiling right at the camera. Come on, lay down. Good girl. Snuggle up. Take a nap. Ooh, let's go. Hello? Thank you. Okay, we're getting groceries delivered, okay? We are kind of lazy and get our groceries delivered sometimes. It costs a bit of extra money to get delivery. It's maybe like five bucks, but it's so worth it. It saves so much time. We've been eating more black beans lately because groceries are so expensive and like meat specifically is so expensive. So we've been replacing meat for black beans in some recipes like tacos and like quesadillas and stuff or even like taco salads. And I don't know, they're pretty good and they're cheap, so. Okay, and I'm just gonna clean up all this garbage I don't think they wanted an unboxing for this, so I'm gonna just get rid of the box because I'm not taking that all apart and putting it back together again. I think it's more of like an in-use type of a video, hopefully, because I'm getting rid of these boxes because I don't like clutter. Right, Farley? Oh, you're so sweet. I'm glad you like your new bed. And I guess technically, if they do want an unboxing, I did record it on here. It's just in horizontal format. And I think the video they want is vertical. But I don't think they want an unboxing, so it should be good. So in real life, I think I'm gonna put the bed here. I'm gonna replace this Casper bed with the new one. But I don't know if that's the best spot for like making content. I might do it over here instead. I might move this table out of the way and then put it in front of this sideboard and like put some plants around so it looks cute. Probably the best option. And this is facing east, so the sun comes in this way in the morning. It's not morning anymore, but still the sun's kind of coming from this way. So it makes it kind of backlit and I don't love that. But in the afternoon, the sun comes through this other window. So that should be better lighting. Pretty dark though, like I'll just have to bring out like lots of extra lighting, I think. Like, but I think that's the best option for photos and videos and stuff. Cause I want it to be like a nice clean background where it looks, it makes the bed look elegant, but not like Nothing too distracting. Like, I feel like this is too distracting. There's like a rug and the, like our little bar. And like, I don't know. I feel like over here is a bit cleaner. And like, I feel like plants make things like elevated. Like, I don't know, it looks more elegant. I don't know. So it's now quarter after 12. I think we'll take Farley out and see if she needs to go pee and poop again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. Okay, let's do this. So I said I was gonna take Farley out and then I sat down on the couch and went on my phone and I started scrolling through Instagram and I just feel my mood like drop compared to how I felt 
30 minutes ago when I said I was going to take Farley out. Like 30 minutes of tapping through stories and checking my comments. I'm seeing like mean comments from people saying, oh, millennials need to just have kids and grow up just because I treat my dog like a child because that's kind of like the bit. Like that's the bit of my account. Like I'm an extra dog mom and my dog is my child. Like that's kind of the joke. That's the joke. So people being mean to me about that, I don't really feel that good about that. And then just like tapping through stories and seeing other people like with their together and doing amazing things. And I hate that I feel this way because I'm happy for everyone. Like I follow these people, I support them, I want them to do well, but I just can't help but like compare myself when I see stuff like that. Okay, I'm actually gonna take Farley out for a walk now and I think that'll make me feel better. Like the sun is shining. It'll be nice. I'm doing it. I think she's gonna do it. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Oh my goodness. Okay, sweetie pie, let's go. Come on. Oh my gosh. You're nasty. We're brushing your teeth as soon as you get home. If you didn't know, there's a herd of elk that hangs out around our house. And they've obviously been here pretty recently because there are fresh poops all over the place. And that's what Farley just got into. Ugh, so gross. So I'm gonna have to brush her teeth as soon as we get home because that is nasty. I told her there's more poop going into her than out of her. You're so nasty, Farley. Are you finally gonna poop? No? Cool, cool, cool. Finally. Come here, Farley. No. You know what you did. Okay, for brushing Farley's teeth, I just use like a regular toothbrush. It's like a double-ended one. And I use this toothpaste that I bought from the vet. It's pretty good. The little one knows what she did wrong. She ate poop, so she has to deal with the consequences. Ooh. Any poopy kisses. Okay. Mm. And she always gets half a dental chew as a reward after we brush her teeth. So that's probably the only reason she puts up with it. Right, Barbie? Ow. All right, so it's about 1.30 in the afternoon now, and I don't really know what else to do with my day. And like, Going out for that walk with Farley kind of helped me get out of my head a little bit and think about why I was feeling bad. That feeling of comparing myself or like jealousy or envy, like I hate feeling that way. But I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, this is just a feeling. It doesn't mean anything about me. It doesn't mean I'm a bad person or a bad friend or anything like that. It's just, a feeling and then I started thinking about like okay why am I feeling this way am I actually envious of the thing that those people are doing like the exact thing like do I want that thing that they're doing and the answer to that is no so then it goes to like okay why am I actually feeling this way then and I think the conclusion my brain came to is that like I'm envious of the confidence they have in themselves or at least that's what they're portraying confidence in themselves and like a put together life. So like, am, am I envious of that person's lifestyle and the way that they run their life and they're able to get things done and they're confident in themselves? And I don't know, maybe. But I've gone through the whole thing before of like, <laughs> you're so cute. I've gone through the whole thing before of like, creating my life according to what other people are doing or what other people think it should be. Like I did the whole corporate thing. And when I started that, I thought I had my life together because I was doing the thing that people do. But I really only had like one aspect of my life together, my financial life, I guess. I didn't have any grasp on like my mental health. I didn't know why I was feeling anxious and sad all the time. I just kind of, thought if I took care of 
this and if I lived this life and made the money that I would be good. And now 10 years later, here I am quitting my job and like trying to figure out the life that I want. Like what makes me feel less depressed all the time? What things do I need in my life every day that make me happy? And how can I make sure that my finances are covered by doing that? Yeah, so am I actually jealous of their life? No, because their life makes them happy and I have to figure out a way to live my life to make myself happy. So I guess I just kind of like rationalized the feelings I was having and made myself feel better about them. I think it's a normal thing. I don't know if it's normal, but it's a thing that happens to a lot of people, I think. Seeing other people living great lives and like comparing it to your own life and feeling bad about it. But yeah, if anyone's ever looked at my life and said, oh, she's got it together, she knows what she's doing. I don't, I don't have my life together. I am very much in the thick of figuring it out. I go through those feelings of comparison and jealousy. It happens especially on Instagram because Instagram is like, it feels like your community, like it's your people, the same people you're seeing all the time. And you're seeing the things they do in their lives and the projects they're working on and you feel like invested in their life. And I follow them for a reason, like I wanna support them and I'm happy for them. I'm genuinely happy for people that I follow when they're doing something great. But it's just hard not to feel those feelings too. I don't get those feelings as much when I'm on TikTok because like the algorithm is just different and I'm seeing different people that I don't follow all the time. So like, it's more of like random entertainment to me versus Instagram feels more like I'm catching up with a community of people. So yeah, I guess in summary, sometimes being on Instagram bums me out. Maybe that's why I'm not spending as much time there lately. I don't know, but I need to get that figured out. Anyways, I fixed up Farley's bed or I put the bolster topper back on it and then I kind of laid the sheepskin topper on top of it. I don't love the way this top on the bolster topper looks. I kind of wish it had more of like a sheepskin topper, but so this isn't really how it's supposed to go on. Like it's supposed to zip in, but I just kind of laid it on top. But I think like that's probably the way I'm gonna have it when I put it in the house. I'm not gonna be able to take pictures of it like that because that's not, the proper way that it's supposed to be used. But yeah, that's probably how I'm gonna use it. Oh, it's so dark. That's probably the way I'm gonna use it once I just have it like in the house. Yeah, let's go back to my office and see how I'm gonna spend the rest of my day. So I'm not feeling in the most creative mood today. Normally during one of my work blocks of the day, I might spend some time creating content for Instagram or TikTok, like a short video, or like tomorrow I'll be working on editing this YouTube video so I can get it up on Thursday. But today I am just not feeling the creative juices. So I'm just gonna take it easy and do something a little more mundane. It's early in the month, it's September 5th, so I might do some like month end spreadsheet stuff that I usually do at the end of every month. I'm keeping track of all my business income, my business finances. Um, we have a rental property, so I like to keep track of like that income and expenses. I'm tracking all of like my social media stats uh, month over month, so I can have those to look back on. And then I have a few things in my bullet journal, like a few spreads that I like to keep track of. I have a weight tracker for Farley because she was kind of overweight earlier this year. So we had her on a diet and just keeping track of like what her weight is like a couple times a month and if she gets too much above her target weight. We reduce her food a bit and if she gets close or under then we increase the food. So yeah, we keep track of that. Yeah, I have a few other things I keep track of here. Social media stuff followers, how many times I posted, income. I'm keeping track of all my hikes for the year. I am not, I didn't exactly have like a goal that I wanted to meet, but you know, I made the scales on my, on my charts a certain amount and I'm not close to reaching those and hiking season's basically over. And then I like to do a reflection at the beginning of the month to see how I'm feeling in different areas. And that kind of helps me like, 
figure out what my goals for the month are gonna be. And then I like to set a few goals in some of these different areas. So like I have physical health, mental health, business, personal development, relationships, and fun. Fun is something you have to prioritize. I think I will work on some of that stuff and probably just like put on some music or a YouTube video or podcast. Ooh, I might listen to a podcast. Okay, catch you in a bit. Yeah. Oh crap, sorry. I wanted to get a video of you. You were sleeping so peacefully. Aww. You all stretched out. Alright, so I just spent some time doing some administrative work. I'm sort of feeling like the afternoon saddies coming on. It's about 3.30 now and I realized I haven't eaten anything since breakfast, which was a long time ago. So I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna spend some time doing something I love, which is watering my plants. The day got really ugly, didn't it? It's just like dreary and windy and cold. The weather definitely impacts my mood too, so maybe that's partly why I'm feeling not as good this afternoon as I did this morning. I always like watching this guy. It's Sydney Plant Guy on YouTube. I find his voice so relaxing and he has these big beautiful plants. So watching this really soothes me. This is much better for my mental health than sitting here and scrolling on Instagram or TikTok or something. I mean, now, look at those. Now, philodendrons are really my absolute favorite indoor plant to grow. Oh um, in a nutshell, I try and keep the humidity for all of these at around about 60-ish percent. I prize them to your left, right? So it has the, um, you know, again, it's so big. It's, a high it's plant chore time. So I keep all my plant stuff in here. We actually just got this. This past weekend, it's from Ikea. Yeah, it's actually like a TV or TV stand, entertainment unit, whatever. But, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good as just like a sideboard. Oh, love all my plants. I keep forgetting that if I turn the camera around, you probably can't hear me. I think she likes it. I'm not gonna force it. So all I really do for plant watering day is I use my moisture meter and I go around to all my plants and check which ones need to be watered. And then I gather them all together and I water them. <laughs> That's simple, but it takes a long time and it's very soothing. So these are all the plants that need to be watered. I keep a couple jugs of water in my little plant cabinet. I like to let the water sit so the chlorine dissipates or whatever it does. Apparently it's supposed to be good for your plants. And I need my plant fertilizer. Oh, I might need to refill that. I'm using this stuff right now, Kelpie. Hopefully it's good. I like using it in these little drop bottles, so I just have to refill that. I've got mostly smaller plants today, but there's a couple big ones, so I need to get... I like to bottom water my plants. I don't know, I've been trying it out lately. I've seen people do it on YouTube and TikTok and stuff, but I need a big enough bowl. I use this one. For some of the smaller ones, I just use these things. I feel like that should be enough. So I just leave those in there until the moisture reaches the top of the soil. Then I let them drain out and put them back in their spot. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my plant chores. Maybe I'll throw this on time lapse and you can watch me do however long it takes me of plant chores and maybe it'll be soothing to you like it is for me. Thank you. 
So I've got a couple plants watering right now and then I still have two more to go. They could be on there for who knows how long. Some of these bigger ones take like an hour to bottom water. So I think I'm gonna call this the end of my day in the life vlog. It's almost five o'clock. Todd's gonna be home from his golf tournament soon. So that's pretty much like the end of my work day. Yeah, you can very much see that I do not have my life together very well. I, I feel like my morning routine is pretty good, but then like how to spend work blocks of my day I'm still figuring out how I want to do that I think I just need to sit down and figure out what my priorities are between all the different platforms which platforms I want to put the most time into and figure out like what kind of content I really want to be putting out there so that it's sustainable for me because sometimes doing just like cute dog content or like funny dog mom stuff it's cute and I love it, but sometimes I want to do something different or something more. My goal is just to do things and create things that make people feel happy and seen and I guess inspired to go outside. I don't know. I really need to sit down and figure out what I'm doing. So for the rest of the day, we usually take Farley out to play ball or frisbee or something um, and then We'll eat our dinner, watch some TV, and then we've got our fantasy football draft tonight. And that'll pretty much be the end of the day. Barley, come here. Can you show the people? Oh, goodness. Good thing I brushed your teeth earlier. Yeah, Farley and I want to say thank you for spending the day with us today and letting me show you a day, an average day in my life as a full-time dog mom slash content creator slash person who is trying to figure it out and yeah hopefully we'll see you for the next one you want to say bye bye she has no idea bye